Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with another product overview for you guys today. We're going to be looking at the Blue Yeti Black Edition Microphone. This is claiming to be the ultimate USB microphones for professional recording. Let's find out if this is great for YouTubers like me and you. If you guys want to pick this up, there will be links in the description to check out this product from both Amazon and eBay. Let's start off by looking at the front of the box. On the front, like I said before, it says the ultimate USB microphone for professionals. Well, we're going to test that out with some voice tests later on in the video. And I am recording this using the blue right now. Next up, over on the side, you get a cool little Yeti pictures letting you guys know some funny stuff. And if you go to the back of the box, you actually get some information about what all the dials and buttons do on the microphone itself. Next up, guys, we're going to go ahead and open up the box and see what it's all like inside. So once you get that extremely heavy box open, and once again guys, it is very heavy, the first thing you'll notice is right here a USB cable to plug it in. And if you guys are wondering, yes, the cable is extremely long, so don't worry about running out of space. After you have some fun playing around with the cable, the next thing you'll find in the box is the manual. And I have to admit, Yeti did a great job with the manual because it is in color and it does have some fun pictures and explains everything perfectly well and comes in multiple languages. Good job on that. It seems very professional. The next item you'll run into inside the box is the microphone itself. Once again guys, it's gonna be heavy, it may not be like any other microphone you've ever owned before, so do try to treat it with care even though it does have an all metal body. And of course, keep the box to the side in case anything does happen and you want to make a return or you ever want to sell the product. It's a nice box. Next up guys, let's go ahead and look at some of the features on this microphone by starting off with the front side. The first thing you will notice is a mute button. And the thing about the mute button, it does light up red when it is plugged in. Underneath that, you'll get yourself a master volume button. This master volume button controls the headphone jack located at the bottom of the microphone. With this headphone jack, you'll be able to control the amount of audio you hear from yourself when you speak into the headphones while using your own earbuds or your own headphones. And next to that, you do have a USB port to go ahead and plug it in your cable that you received earlier into the computer. On the back of the microphone, you'll find two selectors that actually allow you to dramatically change how your microphone sounds and its professional quality, the gain setting and the polar pattern selector. Let's talk about the polar pattern selector and what it actually does by starting off with stereo setting. Later on in the video, I have an example of the difference in quality between all these different settings. But let's start it off with stereo. As you could know, stereo means all around the microphone. It is recommended to use this with vocals, embezzled choirs, or instrumentals. This is coming from Yeti themselves. After that, we're going to be going right into omnidirectional. Omnidirectional is the one that I personally didn't like the most, but it can be used for conference calls, field recordings, or events, or orchestras. Moving on from there, we do get the one that I personally like and the one I'm using right now is called Carador. And it's actually facing directly at the speaker. So directly at me and nowhere else. No voice or sound from behind me. It's good for podcasting, voiceovers, vocals, or instruments. Next up, we got Bidirectional. Now, bi-directional is great for interviews. That means if you're sitting in front of the microphone and you have in somebody you're interviewing behind the microphone. This is also good for instruments and dual vocals. So that's what these settings actually mean. And I'll do a quick little test to show you guys what it sounds like right now. It looks like Rockstar Games celebrated 2010 Western Red Dead Redemption is coming to Xbox One's backwards compatibility program. It looks like Rockstar Games celebrated 2010 Western Red Dead Redemption is coming to Xbox One's backwards compatibility program. 
It looks like Rockstar's games celebrating 2010 Western Red Dead Redemption is coming to Xbox One backwards compatibility program. It looks like Rockstar Games celebrating 2010 Western Red Dead Redemption is coming to Xbox One's backwards compatibility program. It looks like Rockstar Games celebrated 2010 Western Red Dead Redemption is coming to Xbox One backwards compatibility program. So guys, go ahead and let me know which one you think personally sounded the best from the examples I was able to showcase in the comment section below. Well, anyways guys, let's go ahead and wrap up this review. I personally think this microphone does scream high quality and professionalism. They did a great job from the packaging to the manual to the actual build quality of the device itself. With these little tiny knobs as you guys have seen right here, being able to tighten and keep the microphone in whatever position you personally like, I absolutely definitely definitely like it. From the ability to go ahead and plug in your own headphones into the bottom of the microphone and actually listen to your own audio as you speak, that's a feature I know many different actual podcasters like to use. The USB cable actually stays stuck inside the microphone is good as well. It's built tough, the buttons feel great, and I think it has good quality. Let me know if you guys are planning on picking one of these up in the comment section below. Links will be below for more information as well. This has been Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show. Once again, with another product overview, and I could highly recommend the Blue Yeti microphone. Any more questions, make sure you guys ask them in the comment section. Peace out, guys.